Today we need to get into Jimin, who is believed to be getting discharged early. We also have people who believe in Jimin's relationship to talk about a photo and what happened there. And then we have legal action taken over some content online. Stay down links is Dave Desai. Hate it or not, make sure you subscribe to with the notification bell on. Grab your Zumplin at Tastefully Mug Merch and let's go. We need to talk about legal action. More and more K-pop artists are following in the footsteps of initiating legal action. However, I have some opinions on not the legal action itself, but that it's not always the root of the problem. So it doesn't fix the problem, but it does help. So what happened? Well, there was a YouTuber not too long ago called Soulja, which everyone is familiar with if you followed along, I think just a year or two ago. The YouTuber alleged a lot of things about any idol that they felt fit. And when confronted with things like legal action, even by Taeyang, the YouTuber had this attitude of like, come get Get me. And I think the reason why maybe they were so confident is because they probably didn't know the specific law that much. Because defamation falls under false allegations against a celebrity. So Jung wasn't making videos saying maybe this happened or whatever, but it was believed that they were making videos saying that something actually did happen and it was based on very little real evidence. Like so and so is dating and the evidence is something as mundane as them both wearing the same thing. And it was also believed that much of those claims and rumors actually did result in a bunch of people People believing it and then possibly some financial damage happened. So this is where the suit can come from. This is all alleged as their videos are completely in Korean, has now been taken down and I can't even find the channel anymore. So I can't verify. However, it was interesting as we never got a real update on the legal action initiated by V and if it was successful. I actually fully don't know as I do remember even after the situation and when V said he was going to sue, Sojung still made videos on V and it wasn't until way later did ultimately Sojung stop making videos altogether. Now, there's there's a new lawsuit that is happening, but it's very interesting. But Starship Entertainment, specifically Jung Won Young from IVE, has had an ongoing civil suit. Some sites have reported that the suit was won by Jung Wong, but Starship themselves has said that the suit is still ongoing. And apparently there have been two suits that have been initiated. This is all we currently know, as I am sure most people are aware, when suits take place and it happens, it cannot be talked about, at least not extensively. This is why when HYBE or whatever label gets protested for not taking legal action, I guess very confused because one it's not super easy to just take legal action files have to be sent to law enforcement meaning there actually has to be a law that is broken if there is law enforcement can then use their resources to try to check either an ip address or whatever which most people are smart enough now to use a vpn or do something illegal from not their home so then it gets really difficult to find these people but let's say they're found and they're being sued the agency can't talk about it because that would persuade public opinion which can matter in some cases usually these labels are not suing for like a couple hundred bucks but when the suit becomes a couple thousands it's no longer considered a small suit and these things are important to talk about as it sets an example in the k-pop world these idols are not your friend and they're not someone you know meaning this is not like you're gossiping to your friend about someone in your high school class this is someone you actually do not know and thus have no right to an opinion on their personal life because it would be completely misjudged this is why you have full forums on k-pop idols with questions like did you think it was right for so-and-so to wear that that yesterday and also realizing that these idols are not within the same playing field as us take for example bts members in the military i think most people just thought they were scared to hear that bts would enlist because they were scared that the members would hurt themselves but we are seeing that to not be the case and the actual case is they're stronger than most normal citizens jimin was believed to be able to have a very special perk recently jimin has been seen graduating during his military ceremony people quickly noticed that it seemed that jimin had had a promotion and was no longer just just an ordinary soldier. People were trying to figure out what this meant. Of course, it means that Jimin had excellent and amazing performance and strength during his training. But what people are most curious about are these specific perks. Jimin was believed to be allowed an early discharge for vacation. Now, this is just speculation and theories, but it's believed that he will be allowed a week to a few weeks where he will be allowed to leave the camp and just enjoy regular life before being shipped off to wherever he will stay for the rest of his service. This was very exciting because this meant that Jimin likely jump on either social media or go on Weavers Live and go ahead and talk to ARMY again. If Jimin did get a vacation, I would not be surprised if he did actually end up doing this. And of course, the thought is very exciting. But keep in mind, it's not reported 100% that he will take a break. And Jimin could opt for foregoing the break so he could ultimately have an earlier release. I don't know if that is an option, but I don't see why not. Jimin has been praised a lot in the military and he was even seen as a sort of sweetheart in the military due to what he was doing to the other soldiers at the camp. Apparently, each soldier 
soldier is allotted a certain number of minutes to speak on the phone with their loved ones. Apparently, Jimin gave up his allotted time to another soldier so the soldier could speak longer to his friends or family. This was told by one of the soldier's brothers who spoke very highly about Jimin and other things it seemed Jimin would do. Would be order food for the camp and things like that. If I was Jimin, I would be ordering food for myself, but then realizing that I can't just do that as it may violate the rules, I don't know. So then I'd order for everyone just so that I could get a good meal. I don't think that is what Jimin was doing, but I would do that if I was super rich and wanted a change in food, as I assume the food probably is very similar day to day. And of course, if you're someone like Jimin who has tried all the flavors of the world, having the same food every day is going to be beyond boring. But anyway, there's been a lot of stuff coming out about Jimin and Jungkook, and it's very fun to hear about them. There was an interesting photo that came out recently, and it's been spreading like wildfire. There was an alleged photo where it appeared that Jimin and Jungkook were sitting down in the group photo, and they were next to each other. This photo had so many theories about it. It was initially believed that the photo was leaked by staff and wasn't a photo that was ever officially released, as the photos were not available on the camp app, and no one has seen it there. And then others are starting to believe that it is an official photo, but maybe just released sort of illegally, as official photos of Jungkook and Jimin may no longer be on the app due to the action of HYBE requesting those things be taken down. And that could be possible and also an issue, right? Because now we don't know what are real photos and not since the military app may not have it anymore. However, I think the fandom found out the truth about this alleged photo. As many people were saying, if you look at Jungkook, it does not appear to be a real person. They're saying that Jungkook is almost unrecognizable here. Then some people in the fandom realized that this was indeed an edit and ultimately found the real picture. The people in the photo look somewhat like Jimin and Jungkook, at least similar enough where if you were to overlay their faces onto these soldiers, it could somewhat match. So then everyone found out that not only were these not official pictures and not illegally leaked saucing pictures, but they were not even real pictures that ever exist. This also brings the conversation of why this photo was created in the first place. It was believed this photo was edited to showcase the relationship between Jimin and Jungkook, with people using the photo to say that Jimin and Jungkook were dating and likely kissing and doing all sorts of things at the camp. So in that particular case, I don't like the idea that these photos are being edited to feed a narrative. And here's the thing. If you have to create a false thing or Photoshop things together to prove a point, then you don't need to prove that point. And you're probably going too far to prove yours. And I wouldn't say anything like this, but the fact that these photos are being Photoshopped and gone viral is causing Jimin to actually get a butt ton of hate and hate from Jungkook fans and many others asking Jim to stay away from Jungkook. If you do have a favorite chip or whatever, keep that within your own fandom. I know that's hard with the internet and things often go viral without your control, but this is where you have to be honest about the photos that are made. If you only share real things that exist, then if those things go viral, it can't cause harm because it's real. But if it's altered, it can cause harm when it's shared and go viral. People like to put celebrities, influencers, and public figures on a platform to say that they have the responsibility when they post. However, we all do because we live in a day and age where anything can go viral. You can post anything on social media with the chance it'll get 3 million views. You don't need to have a platform to start with before those things go viral now. So everyone has a responsibility now to post, keeping in mind that the post could affect millions of people. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.